Welcome to the Wander Learn Podcast. I'm your host, Franz Tapon. This is a mini episode brought to you by my sponsors at patreon.com slash ftapon. Go ahead and join and get some rewards there. If you have the same pet peeve I have regarding whatever word is in this particular podcast episode, make sure that you send it to people whose minds you want to change. And now for the word of the week that we should rethink. Another pet peeve of mine is proud. And this one is hard to be succinct about this. But so many people are proud of certain things that they can't control. For example, I am proud to be a woman. I'm proud to be a man. I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be white. I'm proud to be an Asian American. I'm proud to be tall. I'm proud to be short. None of these things you should be proud of. Not one of those things. Did you do anything to affect your outcome? The color of your skin, the height that you are, the gender that you are, unless of course you're transgender and you you went through a change and say, okay, I took hormone therapy, I did that, got a sex change operation, so therefore I'm proud to be a man. Okay, great. You could actually say that. Similarly, I'm proud to be American. Yeah, I'm American. Proud. Were you born in America? Yeah, you bet I was. Well, guess what? You shouldn't be proud of that because you didn't do anything to become an American. You were just born and they gave you a citizenship as birthright. Now, if you were somebody who came from Africa or who came from Asia, then, of course, you come to America and you get your citizenship, then, yes, you can be proud to be an American. I could be proud to be Hungarian if I actually went to Hungary, lived there for 10 years, learned the Hungarian language and got my Hungarian passport, maybe married a Hungarian, who knows? Then fine. Then I could say, okay, I'm proud to be a Hungarian, but I cannot pr- be proud to be American. I cannot proud to be. I cannot be proud to be a French person or a Chilean person because my mom is from Chile, my dad's French, And I was born in the United States. I can't be proud of any of those. I'm not saying you shouldn't be proud of anything. So for example, you graduate from college. Go ahead, be proud of that. You ran a marathon. Be proud of that. You got a raise. You got a great job. All these things. There's lots of things to be proud of. But before you say, I'm proud of X, ask yourself, did I do anything in order to earn that? You can be proud of your wife. You could probably even be proud of your kids too, right? Because you kind of help mold them, sort of, right? I can't say that I'm proud of Bill Gates. I had nothing to do with Bill Gates. Bill Gates, I'm proud that Bill Gates is American. (laughs) It doesn't make any sense. Let's choose our things to be proud of. And finally, so then to address the elephant in the room, for those who say, well, I want to be able to say that I'm proud to be a woman. I'm proud to be Hispanic. Okay, fine. What you can say is that you are happy or you love to be X. I love to be Hispanic. I love to be Latino. I love to be a woman. I'm I'm happy that I'm a woman. I'm happy to be tall or short or whatever. But proud, uh uh-uh. Shouldn't be proud of something you did not earn, that you did not try to get.